Chris, I got a question for you. Over right. here the oh, there you are. Hey. I'll yeah. Bring it over yes. there. Um, can you tell us what you're doing to stop Common Core in Mississippi? Great question. <laughs> the question is Common Core in Mississippi and what's being done about it. The conservative coalition, as you know, unified during this last legislative session, and we spent a considerable amount of time focused on Common Core. To answer your question shortly, we're doing everything we can to defeat it. Everything, and here's why. This may sound a bit perplexing to you because our, our citizens and country, for some reason, have abdicated their responsibilities, and we've placed those responsibilities into the hands of the federal government. But I've looked at Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution. I've seen it. I've read it. I understand it. And there's nothing in that document that gives the federal government any power whatsoever over education. Right. Nothing. Right. nothing. That being the case, then it has no business being in education. None. We have to make sure that we don't just defeat Common Core, but any other federal encroachments that attempt to tell Mississippians how to teach their kids. That is our responsibility. And it does somewhat beg the question, doesn't it? If, if Common Core is so great, which I dispute, then why do they attach money to it to give us the incentive to go forward with it? Because if it's that great, couldn't we just do it without the strings attached? Yes. Isn't that interesting? We're very much against coming forward. We're going to fight it every chance we get. We're very much against coming forward. We're going to fight it every chance we get.